<laughs> Good timing, everybody. Where's <laughs> our elephants? We've been one step behind them all through the drive. Now we're one step with them. We're in, what's the word, in sync with them. Look at this little one. Oh, it's too gorgeous. There's a tiny, tiny young calf with this herd. And a baby elephant is always such a precious little sight. What are you doing? You're full of nonsense. It's been running up and down the entire time, causing trouble with the other youngsters. Oh, backing up under mum. Look out. <laughs> Little female. Oh, with very wobbly legs. This, is, this elephant is not old at all. Probably only a couple of weeks at the most. Oh, that is so tiny. Where are you going, you little monster? Oh, you're going to get lost and Mum's going to get cross with you. Oh, this is lovely. It always takes me back to my first ever live elephant sighting when I first started working for Safari Live in a drainage line. Just like this. It was right here, actually. It was exactly at this particular point. And I find as we get closer to the point where I'm going to be leaving for a while, these memories all come flooding back. I'm going to try and get us another view. There is another elephant off to my left, and I want to come between the elephant and the rest of the herd. Hello. I know what I'm going to do. You'll have to bear with me. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around. Oh, no, I'm not. There is a very large, very pregnant lady in front of me. Okay. We'll stop here then. I'm not going to mess with the pregnant lady. Look at her. I think she's pregnant. She looks bulging to me. She looks as though she's also having a little bit of a snooze. I've positioned myself in a way that I'm not in between the entire herd, which is ideal when you're with elephants. I think she's having a little bit of a rest. Now, oh, you can cl see clearly that these elephants are completely relaxed with us. Body language completely relaxed. She appears to be playing musical statues. She really is fast asleep. She has not moved. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's... Are you okay there, girl? Ah, there we go. So, relaxed tails. But of course, we've seen elephants when they're agitated, and Cedar Point would like to know how do elephants warn each other? Um, when danger is lurking and the answer to that really is they they communicate with each other uh, whether it's through body language or through the low rumbles that we often hear the tail is a very very important indicator when it comes to reading elephant body language if it's soft and floppy like hers is then that animal is perfectly contentedly relaxed if her ears are flapping gently then she's relaxed if her tail's stiff and her ears are out. I have seen some amazing communication between elephants. There was one incident not too long ago. I think she's been digging for water. That's why she was so still. She was waiting for it to filter up through the sand. That's what she was doing. I've seen, there was a sighting that I had a couple of weeks ago where there was one elephant that suddenly was upset with us. And I don't know if it was because our roof flapped or what it was, but as soon as she became tense, as soon as her body language changed, I don't know what she said or did, but the matriarch immediately came to come and help her and to come and stand over me and just, just remind me that they're that much bigger than, than well, we are, and that they could do tremendous damage if they wanted to. And it was such a profound moment because I have realized just how in communication elephants are all the time with each other and how aware of each other they are even when they're spread out. That's exactly what she's been doing. So the Mulwati drainage line, which is where we are now, is a dried up river, it's a dry river, and it flowed not too long ago, which means that even though we can't see the water, the elephants know that it's there, they know where to go and dig, and they'll dig down below the surface of the soil and then let the water well up and, and that's how they get really nice, very clean drinking water. And elephants are quite fussy. If they can drink clean water, they will drink clean water. Oh, my girl. I'm just checking the eddies behind us. have got enough space to come if, down if they want to. And they definitely do. 
I'm just making sure that we haven't blocked their route, especially on a steep descent in, into the river itself. It's better not to be in their way. Several tons of animal walking downhill is quite the sight. Oh, I just saw that baby elephant and unfortunately I can't reposition again until this lovely lady's finished her drink um, to show you that little elephant. But Riti, you wanted to know if small elephants are prey for carnivores. Potentially, um, it, it is a possibility, it could happen, uh, especially if the rest of the herd, if the, if the youngster has wandered away from the protection of the herd. But it's very, very unusual because elephants are so protective of each other and it's not just the mum that a predator has to contend with, it's the entire herd, the entire sisterhood of elephants that will come rushing to the defense of a calf. And you'll find that even, I mean, the only thing really that's big enough out here to attack a, a small elephant, or a, to attack an elephant is a lion. And you'll find that the in places where, see, there's the water splashing it over her shoulder. In places where lions do kill elephants, and it's unusual here, they generally go through, go for young bulls that are just on the outskirts of the herd and that the herd is not that invested in protecting. But hyenas, again, also where there's large, very large clans of hyenas that are used to hunting, are also a potential threat, but it's very, very unusual. I wouldn't want to tangle with mum either. And they form that defensive huddle. We've seen that many a time where the females band together, sort of stand shoulder to shoulder in a circle around the little ones. And they get very, very protective. The way she's bending, hunching her body so she can reach, she's obviously a very deep hole that she's adopting this posture. I'd love to reposition, but I think I'd make her feel a bit insecure if I did. So we'll just stay where we are for now. Beautiful view. You can see that it's taking her time as well to actually fill up her trunk with water. It's obviously seeping through very slowly. And I've been so distracted by the elephants in front of me and behind me, I completely missed what Kirsty was trying to tell me, but I think she's telling me to send you over to James, who's got another thrilling thing in the tent. I've got a heartbeat, certainly. I'm very aware of mine in this sighting. This is so amazing. This is so absolutely amazing. This is one of the most gorgeous elephant sightings I've ever had. The reason that my heart's beating so fast is one of them just fell off the bank and decided she was cross with us as a result. But there, look at this baby, look at it. Just look at it, it's so gorgeous, look down there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, little one. Oh, these heels are just so hard. I'm sorry, but there's nothing like a baby elephant. They are just, it's, it's so incredible. Mom's been kicking her baby away from this hole so that it doesn't fall into where they've all been drinking because this baby is so small this baby is so, so tiny that it w if it fell in, it would get completely and utterly stuck in there. And mom is so aware of that. Elephants are just mind-boggling to me. Look at your, look at your trunk. Oh, look at you, you're gonna get sand up your nose. What is this strange new thing, hmm? All this damp sand. No, don't come to me, please. You are so tiny that I don't think mom would appreciate it. I really don't. Oh, goodness. Oh, careful, little one. Careful. This baby's not a few weeks old. This baby's a few days old. Hi. No, don't you come and be cheeky. Don't you come and be cheeky. You're so young with your wrinkly forehead. You remind me of Benjamin Button. There's a little baby elephant we used to watch. Oh, this is... Seb, yeah. how special is yeah, this? Very special. This is unbelievable. I'll tell you about the elephant that fell down the hill later, but first we've got to watch this baby. Are we all having fun, huh? Are we all having fun? What have you got to say for yourself? Are you big and scary? 
Are oh, you big and scary? Yes, I'm very big and scary. Oh, it's very big and scary. Where are you off to? Where are you off to? With your sandy back. Look at the agility of these creatures. Oh, they're amazing. Sorry, I know I keep saying that, but I just... I just... Yeah, I'll watch. I'll watch that side. You watch the baby. I've got this one. Hey? <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> look at this, sorry, look at this. Look, what are you doing? What are you doing right next to us, hey? Oh, you don't want all the attention to be on the little one, hey? You want to show us something as well. How was that pose? How was that pose? Yes, you are beautiful. Real elephants have curves, hey, my girl. You just want to get up the hill. Oh, it's a tough hill to get up, but there we go. Yes, yes, um, don't you worry. We're very impressed by you. We're very, very impressed by you. Off you go, you silly girl. Off you go, you did it. Now don't you start with me either now. This is so amazing. I've just got elephants everywhere. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to tell you to look. <laughs> How was that? Just I wish I could feel like this for the rest of my life. Like I feel when I sit with these elephants. Yes, very stylish. Very, very stylish. Look at you. That color suits you, darling. Brings out the, your eyes. I'm not going to say anything for a bit. I'm just going to let you watch this. I don't think it needs words. Has it been a hard day, huh? It's been tough. Tough being a young elephant. Now look at the scene in front of us and tell me that you're not in love. <laughs> We're so lucky. We're so unbelievably lucky. Sorry, let me move my head out of the way. I'm so distracted, I'm getting my bright green cap in Seb shot, which I don't think is ideal. Another one digging. Looking for water and, of course, some sand to throw across its face. <laughs> the dramatic one at the back is my new favorite. <laughs> oh, there comes baby now. Oh, careful, careful. <laughs> Yes, what is it about baby elephants and going face first into the sand? <laughs> There's just something that they love about it. Like children playing in mud and eating dirt. Laurie, you say look at the wrinkles on its head. Oh, Laurie, I, I actually don't even have words. It is so precious. They are so precious. <laughs> Oh dear, have you had to move now? No fun not being the baby of the family anymore, is it? Now, the smaller one gets all the attention and the best sleeping spots and you just gotta have to move. Look at its feet stuck out like that. It's sitting like a dog. Oh, you are precious creatures. Precious, precious creatures. Oh, as soon as this herd starts to move, I'm going to move back because it's really not fair to expect that little one to try and get up that step. I didn't actually mean, I thought they were all moving in the opposite direction, otherwise I wouldn't have parked here, but I'm not sorry that I did because this is too gorgeous for words. Look at this. They're really, they're playing like little puppies. And I think this one's a bit overtired now. 
Overtired and overstimulated. Hey. Got a whole host of family to look after it, and Mom's not concerned at all. Mom's the one on the right at the back. That's her over there. She's just very thirsty. Ooh. Very thirsty. Don't come between a lactating mom and her water. But she's not worried about the calf at all because she's just, she's got this whole host of babysitters around her that she knows will look after it. This is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. Thomas, you say that your day is now made. Thomas, I couldn't agree with you more. I, my day, this has made my day, my week, <laughs> my month. I'm so grateful that we have elephants in our lives. They bring something so special that I don't, I, nothing for me, nothing else brings. Look at that. Could you be any more of a poser? Look at you. I would, I mean, that's not comfortable. Don't be, don't tell me that that's comfortable. Oh, now the baby's got a bunch of grass. Oh, it's hard using that trunk, isn't it? It's all very confusing. Baby elephants, of course, have to learn their, to use their trunks like human beings have to learn to use their hands. That's not nice grass. That's not yummy grass at all. You don't want to eat that. Another skirmish over the water. Mummy's hogging it. Ah, oh, this is wonderful news. Garrison and Sagebrush Elementaries have joined us this afternoon. So welcome to all of you. This is so special. You've come at just the right time. So we've got two schools joining us. Just a quick introduction. My name is Jamie and we're sitting with elephants that Seb has been filming this afternoon. And it is an absolutely precious sighting. So you guys are watching what's happening right here and right now in South Africa. And it's so gorgeous. So, over the next 45 minutes, you guys can send through all your questions that you have and send them through to us. Maybe you'd like to know more about these elephants. They're playing. Oh, dear. And the... <laughs> it's hard to roll over when you're that big. The baby's stuck, Seb. The baby fell down the hill and it's stuck now. Can't quite and get up. Oh, this is too precious. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, all right. Okay. I was going to move, but now we can't, so we're just going to have to sit very still, Seb. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mum. Okay, Mummy. Hello, Mummy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Hello, big girl. No, baby, you can't get up there. All right, big girl. Mommy, you can't expect your baby to get up that hill. Very still, Seb. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 Don't touch my car. You'll get into trouble. Okay. 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 All right. Hi, guys. All right. Okay. Nice and still. Nice and still. Now, the, what's happening here is there's this tiny, tiny baby, and it needs to get up the hill. 
but it can't because it's too small. And mom is standing by to protect it. There you go. Push it up. Push it up. Give it a push. Watch this. Watch this. There it goes. Give it a push. Come on. Look how this elephant's helping it. Up you get. Come on, little bubba. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, you two are not helping. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, Seb, we need to move because this baby's not going to get up this hill. I just don't want to start the engine and yeah, frighten it. Yeah. Just wait a little bit. Yeah, we're going to let it just... Fine. Come, Mom, move the baby. Move the baby to the edge. It's stuck between these two boys now, yeah. which is not helping us. Come on. It's caught in the grass. Okay, baby. You boys are not helping matters. You boys are not helping at all. Come on, problem solved, little one. Look how she's wrapping her trunk. She's going to try and lift the baby up. Come on, baby. Come on, you're so close. Okay, Mom. All right, it's not my fault. Come on, little Bubba. You're going the wrong way, sweetie. There's a nice, easy way for you to get up. You just have to go around a little bit and you need to move out of its way. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, Bubba. Don't panic. Okay, I definitely can't start the engine now. No. Baby's too close. And it will get such a fright. You're gonna walk down the car, so you can Hi, Mom. There we go. There we go, you silly thing. Was that so easy? Was that so easy, huh? <laughs> Not so difficult. Oh, it's difficult even when you're a big elephant, apparently. Now, don't take it out on me. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I love elephants so much. And you, did you get left behind? Yes, yes, yes. Juliana, you want to know how much the baby weighs. We're just gonna sit still until they've moved off completely and then we'll move. <laughs> that was so cool. But you're... Yeah. There, Seb, well done. Seb did an amazing job there of staying very still. Wow. Right, Juliana, sorry, you want to know how much a baby elephant weighs? It's about 100 kilograms when it's born. That's over 200 pounds. That is an absolutely massive baby. But bear in mind, mom is pregnant for nearly two years, 22 months. So when she does have that baby, she's so, so protective over it. And that's why in the position that we were in, I wanted to move back, but they came so quickly and I didn't have a chance to. And that's why we had to be so careful and so quiet. You must have heard how I was whispering. I was just communicating to her. She can't understand what I'm saying, but I'm communicating to her that we're not a threat to that baby in any way. But she was worried because she couldn't get it up the hill. But that's, that happens. That would happen whether or not I was here because apparently all the elephants ignored the fact that there's a, a gentle slope over there. That was so cool though. What a fantastic way to start off your school drive than with elephants that close to us. And these are wild elephants. They're not tame elephants at all. They're completely wild. But by our body language and behavior and the fact that they've seen safari vehicles throughout their lives, they're comfortable with us. They're not scared of us. And that's great, provided we respect that, which is why we sat so quiet and still, especially when she had that little one. But the coolest part, the way that that baby got up was mom with her trunk, just giving it that little leg up that it needed. Oh, let me show you something over here. <coughs> this is where they were drinking. Now that they've moved off, 
we can come and have a look. That's where, that's the hole that they've dug to get to the water. Now, there we go. That's the water over there. I'm, my heart rate is still somewhere, is still somewhere right up in the top of my chest, possibly in my throat. <laughs> now, you can see where they've been playing, and Alison, you want to know, well, why did they roll in the dirt? Alison, they roll in the do dirt for a couple of reasons. One, if they get itchy skin, then it really helps to relieve that itch. And two, I think they do it because they enjoy it. I think it feels good on their skin. I think they enjoy that texture. So that is why they roll in the dirt and in the sand. It helps to get rid of things like ticks as well. You can imagine. They don't have any thumbs. They can't pick off a tick that might be on their skin, especially in those hard to reach places. So they throw the sand up. It also helps to, and I mean, it, that's not why they're doing it at the moment, because it's, it's nighttime here in South Africa. The sun has gone down, the sun has set. But the reason that they do it is also to help protect their, their skin against the harsh effects of the sun. So that bright burning sun, particularly in summer, then what an elephant will do is they'll go and roll in mud or it'll roll in sand or even have a swim and then go and throw dirt over its back to help to keep it cool and to help to protect its skin. Now the elephants have moved off and they've gone to go and find themselves some dinner, I imagine. Uh, we know why elephants roll in the dirt. Why on earth is James rolling in the dirt?